for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, I also talked a lot about what it would be like to juggle a business and be a mom. Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am Karen Vaughn. I'm an interior designer in Vancouver, an entrepreneur, mother to be very, very soon. And today I am kicking off the vlog with my husband. We're heading over to do a little bit of baby shopping because we're making room for this little one that's growing very rapidly. And as you'll see through the vlog today, the day is all about making room. heads up display. Do you use the heads up display with the integrated nav? Yep. I use the map because the dash is so big. Another one of my favorite features, I've talked about this before, is the integrated CarPlay. I have 182 text messages. There's probably 180 of those are mine. <laughs> if I respond to your text messages. <laughs> Eventually. But I do love that the Apple CarPlay is wireless. And as soon as you jump in the car, it automatically connects. Yes. A new and recent find for a feature is the camera in the rear view mirror. Because if you ever have the back full of stuff, like we might today. So what are we looking for at West Coast Kids? We need to find a car seat, stroller, changing pads, baby bedding, a rug or something soft, cute artwork, baby clothes hangers, we need a dresser, breast pump, and bottles, and a bottle sterilizer bag, some baby bath rub, a sleeping sack, a stroller, a car seat, a nursing bra. This is definitely one of my favorite features. There's the backup camera, and then there's the bird's eye view that's next to it. Now that I have this, I honestly could not drive a car without it. Today, officially, I am 27 weeks. <laughs> 27 weeks! So I am only a week away from my third trimester. That means I'm due in 13 weeks, which is so crazy how fast the time is going by. <laughs> My gosh. Ah! Because this is just around the corner, Chris and I are gonna do a little bit of baby shopping this morning. I wanna look at some clothes. I've got the nursery that's wrapping up, so I wanna see if I can find something for the nursery. We need to find a stroller and a car seat, so we're spending the morning doing that today. We're excited to be here. Okay, good, good, good. We have a whole bunch of stuff to shop for. Okay. I don't know how much we're gonna take with us today, but we're just kind of like looking around. Absolutely. Little sleeper sacks though, these are so cute. Mm -hmm. I love these little jammies. I want one of these right now. <laughs> See, I feel like Chris is the prepared one out of the two of us. You know more about what to do with the baby than I do. 
my god there's so many options this is overwhelming we'll, we'll leave the pink where it's at right now <laughs> This is such a strange feeling because I've never really bought clothes for anybody else <laughs> other than myself. I'm telling you guys, it's an overwhelming experience. I kind of wanted to put one in the nursery. Should we look at the strollers? Do we want something a little bit more city friendly, more outdoor friendly? I think a little bit of both, right? A little bit of both. All right, well, that narrows it down two options already, so that made it very easy for us. Okay, amazing. And they're both strollers, honestly, that do very well in this type of city. Should we test this in the car? So we'll just throw it in the back and then come back in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's definitely do another time. So as long as there's less than an inch of movement side to side and back and forth. Oh my god. That's that's in there. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look here. Yeah. Candle cup a certain angle. Slightly higher up on the back of the carrier. Oh here. Yep, that's the one. Got it. I feel good that I know how to secure this in the car now. <laughs> Okay, now that I've put a baby seat in the car, I should be able to fit the giraffe in there somehow. Well, this definitely feels like a full circle moment and it's been quite a while since we've done any kind of car talk. For those of you who have been following my channel for a while, I also talked a lot about what it would be like to juggle a business and be a mom. And now I have two businesses, two companies that I run, and the baby is on its way. <laughs> so lots of changes happening. It definitely feels a little bit overwhelming because work is just as busy as it's always been, if not busier. And with the baby fast approaching, I'm getting ready for mat leave and i'm working to make sure that my team is where it needs to be in order for me to be able to take some time off and have this baby i really only have about three months to get my companies prepared so it feels like there's a lot of you know energy and effort going into that it's stressful actually being an entrepreneur and having a baby on the horizon it's um, it's like the anticipation maybe of the unknown. But if you're an entrepreneur, you know that you learn by doing and you just kind of wing it and you figure it out as you go. You make lots of mistakes, but that's how you learn. and That's how you get better. When we were in West Coast Kids <laughs> and the salesperson said, you know what? It's just a lot of trial and error. You kind of figure it out as you go, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, I know how to do that. That's all I've been doing for the last 13 years. So motherhood shouldn't be any different. I don't think, I don't think. Making room, <laughs> making room for new things, making room for this baby, and making room at the office too and at work and what i mean by that is like it's not so much physically making room at work but making space for a lot of positive change and growth my team needs to take on more responsibility i need to lean on my team a lot more um which for me as a independent and self-sufficient woman who's used to being able to handle anything and everything and who can kind of you know just take care of things take care of business there is a certain sense of vulnerability that comes with having to lean on your people a lot more but I think it's kind of healthy growth for me um, and it's healthy growth for my team too. And I think that they actually are really excited about taking on 
more responsibility and I think everyone is really excited about what's on coming up on the horizon and has my pregnancy affected work so far I mean I definitely noticed that for myself I am physically debilitated which is a hard thing to accept I'm a lot more tired I have way less energy I find that I'm a lot more tired in the evenings I'm not as sharp as I feel like I was before the pregnancy I could juggle a million things in my head and I just feel like I'm physically not capable of doing that as well as I used to be so that's very strange um, and now getting into the third trimester things like just bending over is challenging <laughs> like putting on my shoes getting dressed in the morning if I drop a pen on the floor <sighs> so physically things are a lot harder um, I'm out of breath more stuff like that and I just need a lot more rest um, which is probably not a bad thing because you do get to a point in life where it's kind of time to slow down a little bit like you can't be going a mile a minute all the time for your entire life and I do believe that in life and in work and in business there are seasons and so this is really coming up to a brand new season office I've got a busy afternoon in design meetings it's gonna be a really fun afternoon and the closer and closer and closer I get to having this baby the more and more and more I'm aware of or thinking about what it's gonna be like when I'm in the office a lot less which gives, makes me nervous I'm not gonna lie does make me nervous I'm sure every woman in business who is an entrepreneur and running a company and running a team probably goes through the same fears and anxieties as a creative director I am tasked with making hundreds and thousands of decisions on a daily basis it's a job that I love but it is a big job and you can't replace that immediately so I'm always thinking in the back of my mind what is it gonna be like when I'm not here a hundred percent of the time so I have to set up my team I have to empower my team and I don't know if it's actually gonna be realistic for me to have a complete blackout period where I have this baby and then for three months or six months or nine months I'm just you can't get a hold of me I don't think that that's remotely realistic and I think even to think that way I'd be setting myself up and my team up for failure so um, with that said I mean that's just me sharing a little bit of what's going on in my head right now but I'm gonna jump into the afternoon get through some of these design meetings we have our big chateau project that we're gonna be jumping into right now we have a ton of decisions to make for this project and um, I'm trying to make them all as soon as I possibly can I like this one mm -hmm. main floor laundry this one could be for main or lower laundry there's a thousand decisions to make on this house and that's just one project we have 15 <laughs> right now <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> we need more room that has been the theme of my day <laughs> So that's
that's it for today. A little piece of advice that I have for all of you who are watching this video and who are always hungry for entrepreneurial type of content and women in business type of content. Listen, we're always winging it. We are always, always winging it. And even the people who have incredible careers and who have built amazing businesses and who are huge entrepreneurs, we're winging it. We're always winging it. There's no roadmap. There's no recipe. With that said, that is the exact approach that I'm going to take to motherhood and to having this baby, how I'm going to juggle all of this with a new little girl on the way. I have no idea, but I'm going to wing it and I'm going to make it happen and I'm going to be fabulous while doing it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm excited to see you in the next one. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed, hit that like button. And until next time, bye for now.